I was busy the other day because I had to go to Midsayap. Umotok yung simbahan nila doon. So I had to take a day off uh, para magbiyahe muna ng Kutabato. I am here because I know that we have to be here during this time. Ah... Uh, Dadala ko po yung mga tao na makakatulong sa inyo kaagad. At uh, kayo pong nasa agricultural sector, nandito po si Governor Pinyol ng Cotabato noon, Secretary. Alam niya ang trabaho niya. Secretary Leonel Brunes ng Department of Education. Alam ko po sira yung mga eskwela ninyo. Alam niya ang ginagawa niya. Of course, uh, Secretary Lorenzana is the Defense Secretary. Nandito po si Alfonso Cusi. Si Alco si tawag nila. Manager ito noon ng uh, Naya. Then, uh, noong panahon ko na kinuha ko siya ng energy. So, importante siya sa restoration ng inyong electricity. And uh, he will do the job, I'm sure. Uh, ganito yan. Uh, nandito sila to assess and to make a report because we will be beating in Malacanan, it's either tomorrow or a day after. We would be spending the rest of the days towards the end of the year. Pasensya na nga kayo, numarunong mag-bigulano. At we will be working on the so many things that you would need. May pera ho. I have my social fund And how we will make the assessment of how much uh, we will be extending help. Malalaman ho ninyo yan before New Year. So, I hope that uwi mo na ako, about then I will be applied tomorrow. We might be spending our New Year uh, Day sa Manila na lang. So, kusina. So, what I can assure you is that based on the money that we have, we will make the restoration and the uh, giving of assistance immediately. Uh, we will not wait for the new year kasi alam ko, important yung nagdadating sa inyo yan. What I see and have seen is that uh, it's typical. Uh, about the only thing uh, that's uh, quite different from you from late, huwag naman sana mangyali po dito, is that nakakalat yung patay thousands of them. Uh, it was really a horrible experience in my life which I cannot forget. So, Nandito ako para mag, uh, magbigay ng assurance sa inyo na ang gobyerno, uh, kung maaari lang, uh, kaagad-agad ang tulong. And the schools will be rebuilt immediately. The reason why I could not make any move the other year was because I pumasok ako ng presidente at yung budget nandoon na. I'm not trying to be dwelling on politics, but the only reason why I could not build rehab houses and everything is I was operating on a budget which was prepared last year and which is not really mine. Uh, kalahati noon kay Presidente Aquino. And uh, buyog tawag sa amin niya. Ewan ko, anong pangalan sa inyo? 
yun, kaya ako medyo na, I, I, I could not simply buy because there's no money. I could not get money from one department to pay off the needs of another because I said that would be robbing Peter to pay Paul. I put in with some pera for that purpose. Hindi sa gobyerno, walang ganun eh. And it was bottoms up. So talagang pagdating namin doon, bottoms up. Wala na kaming naiwan except for the uh, maintenance and operating expenses. But uh, hopefully this year, uh, mga ganun na ako, uh, right at the start, magkumpisay na kagad ako ng galaw. Yun lang po. Uh, I'm, I'm happy that I was able to land safely. I slept all the way. Magising ako, rin dito na. And good that uh, we could get the plane to be here on time. Uh, sana po, maawa uh, ang Panginoong Diyos. Pare-pareho mo niyan para sa atin. And I pray that you recover uh, your bearing, yung ano niya sa buhay ninyo. And uh, not to despair. But about the only reason bakit bugbog kayo, is kayo po ang bintana. What's bintana in Bicol? Bintana, what is it? You are facing the Pacific Ocean. Kung baga itong Pilipinas, bahay, ang unang bintana na masagupa ng bagyo kayo. So, wala na talagang magawa niyan. Late and summer would be a... It's, it's gonna be a continuous uh, event in your life. Maybe in the fullness of God's time, if you're able to get along with life and uh, magkaroon kayo ng kuting, pera, build houses that are really uh, constructed in such a way that it would meet the challenges of the storms and typhoons that would come our way kasi wala nang katapusan especially that there's a climate change it's going to be a very lethal and uh, virulent thing that would come your way habang buhay na ninyo pati na mga anak ninyo kaya uh, think about it hard you have to build houses Make it uh, strong materials. I said na kayang sagupain ang bagyo. Yan ang binigay sa iyo ng nature because you chose to be here. I do not know your forefathers several years ago, but they decided to stay here. Every time that there's the kumukulok yung in it ng Pacific Ocean and it gets to mix with the cold uh, currents and then the hot and cold ano yan talagang masaba yan so yan lang po papasalamat ako for the warm welcome sabi ko sana ayaw ko na lang mag ano okay, sabi ko kipong si Miss uh, Alberto na lang ang mga siya yung kilala ko dito. No, and of course, I'm happy that uh, may tagasan beda si Congressman Sarmiento. So, salamat sa pagsalubong uh, ninyo. Alam mo, may, 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 may peculiar uh, practice ng gobyerno na ayaw ko. Yung ako ang Kunwari, magbibigay ng tulong. Ceremonial gift-giving. Ayaw ko na, ayaw ko na. Hindi, ko naman, hindi naman akin yan, pera naman ninyo. Pera ko rin. It's a people's money. It's really a propaganda which I hate. Ayaw ko. So, ibibigay sa inyo yan. Ayaw ko yung tawag ng lima o tatlo lang tapos magbibigay-bigay ako na gano'n. Ayaw ko yung mga propaganda na Style bugok yan. 
Toto. Para sa akin, style bugok. Hindi ko ginagawa yan. Ako, nandiyan man, dala ko man. Kunin ninyo kay uh, uh, Judith, nagiwalo. Ito siya kay, iwan ko siya dito. Judy, during the martial years, ito yung mga left sa gobyerno, uh, ex-convict rin ito. Kasi na-preso nung panahon ni eh. Marcos. Kaya galit yan sa mga ganon. And I know that yung style ng mga... Basta ayaw. Kunin lang ako ninyo at ibibigay naman sa inyo yan. There's no need for me to go into this. Nakukurnihan ako. Salamat po.